of them even translated. Mm -hmm. So they are very different. Uh, some of them, like after the 12 level, they were also able to tolerate. They talk about how the colonials came and what they did. Yeah, if you remember. And this one is, is to be honest, it's really for children. Mm -hmm. the, the, the folk songs are little so mm -hmm. So that we don't forget who we are. Mm -hmm. We are very, very particular about culture. Culture, mm -hmm. knowing who you are. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, not using it to separate us from others. Mm -hmm. We are different, but we are the same. Unity in diversity. Unity in diversity. Yes, exactly. And he really, really believed. Exactly. And, um, so he wrote these books. This one is about fighting for independence. Mm -hmm. And once you get your independence, what do you do with it? And this is about being focused, having a nation that's accountable, that doesn't go into corruption, that sees accountable to the people who elected them. Mm -hmm. And that's the message he's saying. Mm -hmm. So there are uh, some of them are fiction, some are factual, some are historical. Mm -hmm. But he wrote six books mm -hmm. in the right time, which, if, with your permission, we'd like to.
each time I had an opportunity of uh, campaigning for president, mm -hmm. I'm the one who used to tell the, the story yes. about how in 1950, 1950 or thereabout, uh, Old Harry, Armand mm -hmm. came here in Tinsadi to recruit four young men and we encouraged them to do it. But I tell you, one of them, but mm -hmm. and of course our founding president, one of them, John Masukoni, one of them, and of course Robert Makasa. And that is the story I used to tell uh, each time I had the privilege of campaigning with the president about how Simon Maskapwepe, Dr. Kaunda, and the rest of them wanted to bring this country together without looking at uh, who came from where. Yes. And I also told a story about how, uh, if you allow me, don't need to be respectful, how the late Simon Maskapwepe, Scott Awena, were given a scholarship to go to, to India. Mm -hmm. And the, it was Harman Gangumula who had to raise uh, money for the two young men to travel to India to go and to uh, carry out their studies. And that's how they came back and fought for independence. So it's a great joy that the President, His Excellency, has for <coughs> done what Bakapwepwe, Bakawunda, would have led us to do, they would have led to see, to see this country being here. United, as opposed to whatever it is, something alien to all of us. And uh, we are very grateful to His Excellency, Mr. President, and the Thank you, Excellency. I am Namaka Wanda Kaunda, 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 Is this soccer for 15 minutes? 
I said, uh, uh, 90 minutes. I would have to do 90 minutes. So I remember I made that for the Gaunda. I condition 90 minutes. Come mm -hmm. and complete 90 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there is a penalty. It's a permanent penalty penalty because he came from here. We were Kabala. Everybody was coming. Mpaka, I think he, they started dividing us. He just spirit your so we are a chief. So we are going to be in the same way. We are going to be in the same way. We are going to be in the same way. We are going to be in the same way. We are going to be in Please. 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 MP Kunon for two terms from 2006 to 2016. And I stood as an independent member of parliament in 2021, just the recent elections. My father worked uh, together with the, my father here. Red Simon Masaka Pepe, and indeed with the, uh, Dr. Kevin Kaunda. He was not educated, but he heavily got involved in the Cha 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 uprising, and he was incarcerated in Atimalonde, a prison in Sulisbury at that time, Kwarare, Zimbabwe, for three years, from 1961 to 1963. Before I was born, I was born in 1964 after I came back from prison. And the, the two uh, sandwiching you, the Excellency, which you were by for Tapawa sister, I mean Tapawa as a river sister. Yes, Excellency, my village is just the right where you landed, just about uh, 500 meters away, that's where my, my village is. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. Um, first and foremost, let me thank you extremely thankful for inviting me on this trip. I'm really grateful. I wasn't expecting it. Um, I'm grateful for that. Uh, so this family purpose and the calendars we were brought up together. In some young days, right through their political life. Despite the political differences they had towards the end or in the middle of their, their um, political careers, we as a family have never been divided up to them. Uh, when my mother was alive here in this house, I used to come here almost say, I come here, I come here. The young lady you see there, they are my sisters. Mm. So what it means that, um, yes, we differ on politics and political and, um, and uh, principles. Sometimes we do different things to each other, but the unit of spirit should always remember, should always be there. It's what builds the country. If my sisters and us were apart because of appearances, the differences, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. So it's important that we take advantage of examples that our parents have left us that because the politics, the relationship must continue so that our grandchildren can take over where we're going to live off. So I'm grateful that um, uh, you will invite me. Uh, this house is my house. And she was me and said, well, I hope it's ready. <laughs> 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 because I'm... <laughs> 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 I'm 
<laughs> Same as I the one to which we were in Katia, and for preservation. And this time I was here, my mother from this house always gave me the same. Mm-hmm. So since now you've taken over a house, you must provide what my mother's provided. <laughs> so thanks for inviting me. I'm glad that we're here today. I'm really grateful. Thank you, sir. My name is Hamwende uh, Mundiori Kaimuma. Mr. President, I would like to report that uh, she is my right hand person in Mujinga now. But when I appointed her, she is my right hand person in the whole northern province. Uh, I would like to pick from where. You will allow me, your exercise, to pick from where I want to go to the When this country decided to fight for its independence, I'm one of them, as related by him, Mr. Mukere, Kenneth David Kaunda, Mr. Mirish from Northern Province, Solomon Kalulu. Our first vice president, Ruben Kamau, came to Monze to a place known as Samuya Momba, organized a meeting there because the temple for the struggle was rising. The previous political party, which was there, headed by Migusitali Wanika, Mr. Nagulia Tendaras, was mainly concentrating on what I could call today's human rights. They were fighting to have the right to enter a hotel because there was caliber, buy from inside the shop than the window. But at that particular meeting, it was decided that it is no longer necessary to look at those small things, to find them as we go. They are saying now we are going to fight for independence itself. And there was an election. This election that took place saw so Harry Kumula as a leader of the African National Congress. And the name changed from African Congress to African Nation because leaders were gathered there from the entire republic as we know it today. Kenneth David Governor became the Secretary General. Simon Wansaka Kuyope became the Treasurer General. And I believe Ruben Kamanga was his vice. Now, the long story of cut short from that day, it was what I would call Tom <coughs> in all the provinces of Zambia. That time there were only eight provinces. So we could say that from Zambia Momba with this team of selfless nationalists the actual struggle for independence began. Now, some of your member, to many of you, maybe it would be a strange name, but it forms part of the distortion of the history of Zambia. And uh, I am sure what is going on in Southern Province now indicates that uh, most of you will be invited to that place very soon so that you know where the actual serious struggle for independence started. Um, I want to say much. I think I should end there. I'm very pleased, uh, Your Excellency, that this day has come and that you have set your foot on this place. Because uh, the way you have started is in the way Kenneth David Gaunda started building this nation. And uh, we pray that uh, God will protect you and push us a lot more and make our national foundation stronger than it has been. Thank you. Thank you. For the sake of time, I think you have to I think just you introduce yourself quickly. But, uh, yeah. Yes.
Your Excellency, my name is Alusu Mukamlenga. Speak, speak. My name is Alusu Mukamlenga. I'm the mayor for Chinsali. I was a council in the last time, but I'm still the mayor. On behalf of the people of Chinsali, we are very happy that you are here in Chinsali you visited, and we are happy that you are visiting our hero, Dr. Simon Kapuli. Thank you. My name is Reverend Matthew Chirekwa. I'm the provincial chairman of the ruling party, United Nations Development, National Development. I'm the person who's receiving these people on the party side. And then I'm very much delighted that the president here stepped his foot in the province that I'm presiding over. Thank you so much, please. Kasonde. <laughs> At the same time, missionary Abu Mwamba, the family of GBM. In an adjoin a European in 2000, I'm one of the senior members. So, Ukwisa Fikapano, Shonse Fresh are in the question of tribalism, Shari of my family comes. No, Ukwisa Sangat, the European team to a winner. But President Kulusebwa was to nominate as a Bemba woman from Kulu Bemba Kwachitimukuru. I'm very grateful. If we have a President Tuadifebamu, it was just one province. People actually walk. What divides us, what divides uh, uh, Northern Province and uh, Muchinga, Chambeshi. But President, history sometimes Mucharu uh, Mwadiafi. 1990, 1990, 1990, I was the preferred hostess, air hostess, for the uh, first Republican president, Vawishwaba Panji. The last flight he did in Chinsali, he did it with me. And that time, all my uncles had gone to MMD. I didn't know what to do to save him. But he saw that in the Kokola cabin, and he called upon me and said, save me with a clear conscience, my daughter. Put politics aside. And I saved him. Today, back in Chinsali, how many years ago were punished? I have flown with my brother. He is my brother. So this is my family, and he's also my family. I'm very grateful for President that he uh, had to reunite the Kawanda family, the Kapwepo family, Kutari Tuafuma. I'm nominated member of parliament, a minister, community development, and social services. Okay. A national chairperson for women's affairs, <laughs> UPND. <laughs> Good afternoon, Your Excellency. I'm Captain Davidson Lenda, the permanent secretary for Mutin. Speaking on behalf of the members of staff in Mutinga Province, Your Excellency. I want to say that we are grateful for this visit. It's unprecedented, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I'm Shin Pundu, the elected member of parliament for Senga Hill, just across Chambeshi. I'm the provincial minister for Chinsali. Welcome, Your Excellency. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
as everybody is settling down, let's wait. We'll sing the national anthem, and then we'll have a prayer that will be offered by Warren Dr. Chongo Julius from Mushinga Command of the Zambia Army. National anthem. Stand and sing of Zambia, proud and free. Land of work and joy, unity. This has been the struggle for the life. We won freedom fight. Oh, our strong and free. Africa is our own mother. Fashion is a great by God's good and let us all our people join us one. Brothers under the sun, all strong and free. One land and one nation is our cry. Dignity and peace give them your sky. Like a noble eagle in his fright, Zambia prays to thee. Oh, strong and free, praise be to God, praise be, praise be, praise be. Praise our great nation, Zambia, 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 free men we stand. Under the crop of iron, Zambia, praise to thee. Oh, strong and free. One Zambia, one nation. Shall we pray? Our loving, gracious God, we humble ourselves before you this afternoon for this important event, Rick Rain Ceremony in respect of the late Mr. Simon Mwanzaka Puepue, Garant Freedom Fighter, who contributed so much for the good of Mother Zambia. God, I pray. For everyone here to have the same spirit of putting the interests of others first. We thank God for this fruitful visit of our loved president who has a blessing or a vision from Chinga province. God, you have allowed him to visit us at the light time with the light mission of purpose. I pray for your protection upon him and the entire family. I pray for more wisdom for this difficult task you have given him. Be with him as you did to your servant Joshua after the death of Moses. According to what is written in the book of Joshua, chapter number 1, verses 5 to 6. I pray for all political and traditional leaders and everyone who has come for this event. May God bless and protect you. God, this is our prayer that you start with us and end with us. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you very much. We may be seated. I welcome you all to the working visit of Mr. Hakainde Hitchlema, President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force here at Chinsari, Muchinga Province, Tuesday, 26th October, the year of our Lord, 2021. The President, sir, 
Our program for this, for this afternoon will be as follows. We have done the national anthem. The opening prayer has been done. We will soon have the remarks by Honorable Henry Skazwe, Member of Parliament, Provincial Minister. Then we will have the life history of the late Mr. Simon Mwansaka Pwepwe to be given by a family member in the name of Mwalimu Mpundulungu. Then we will have a song by the United Church of Zambia, Mary Choir from Shinsali Main Church. Then we will have the address by Mr. Hakainde Hichlema, President of the Republic of Zambia. Then we will go to rest laying ceremony. We will have again a hymn and a song by Kapwepwe School Choir. After that, we will have the vote of thanks by the family representative, the name of Chilufia Chileshe Kapwepwe. Then I will do the closing prayer and we will have the national anthem. The President of the Republic of Zambia and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, Mr. Haka Inde Hichlema, Senior Government Officials present here today, Honorable Henry Skazwe, Member of Parliament, Provincial Minister, the Provincial Permanent Secretary, members of the PJOC, the Mayor, the Acting District Commissioner, invited members of Parliament, members of the United Party for National Development, UPND leadership in Chinsali, distinguished freedom fighters present here today, political parties present, members of the clergy, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am Reverend Malcolm Moffat Nyambe, Director of Chaplaincy, Zambia Air Force, your Director of Ceremonies for today. So like I said, after that, the program is now going to, to commence. Allow me to invite or to call upon Honorable Henry as a member of parliament, provincial minister, to give his remarks, the honorable minister, sir. Your Excellency, Mr. Haka in the Hitlema, the Republic and President of Zambia, Cabinet Ministers present, the Permanent Secretary of Mushinga Province, members of the PJOC, I worship the Mayor of Chinsali, the Acting District Commissioner for Chinsali, all heads of government departments and parastatos, family members of the late Mr. Simon Mwansaka Pwepwe, Freedom Fighters, Members of the clergy, members of the press, may I say all protocols of death. Your Excellency, we the people of Nsinga province and Chinsali district in particular, delighted to welcome you to this region and are grateful that you have found time of your busy schedule to visit us. We are honored and privileged, Your Excellency, to be considered among the best provinces to be visited after you assumed office on 24th August 2021. Today is yet another significant day as we remember and honor the great freedom fighter, Mr. Simon Mwansa Kapwekwe, a true patriotic of the Republic of Zambia. The events we are witnessing today here at the farm of the late Galan Soja, the late Mr. Simon Kapwepwe, is timely as we just commemorated our Independence Day two days ago. This is therefore a more appropriate occasion because the peace being experienced in this country has not come 
by accident, but has been a result of our collective efforts in carrying forward the principles advocated by the founders of this great nation, such as the late Simon Mwansaka Pwepwe. Your Excellency, this peace and tranquility that we, that we continue to enjoy is like is a key to attracting investment in many sectors of our economy. We, as people of Nshinga province, are therefore hopeful that the economic fortunes of this country will change in the near future. Your Excellency, our humble appeal as provincial administration to the people of this country and Nshinga province in particular is to emulate the patriotism and loyalty of people such as the late Mr. Apuepue so that we help the new dawn administration drive forward the development agenda of this country. Your Excellency, we share a common heritage and a common destiny and we therefore need to stand against anything and everything that attempts to divide us. Very important. Very important indeed. <laughs> we are one people, one Zambia, and indeed one nation. With this few remarks, Your Excellency, I wish to once more welcome you to Mushinga province and further thank you for finding time to visit us. I wish to also thank the family of the late Mr. Simon Mwansaka Puepue for allowing us to be part of this occasion as we remember this true son of the soil who sacrificed his life to make Zambia one of the peaceful nations in this, con in this continent. I thank you and may the good Lord bless you all. I thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, you will forgive me due to constraint in terms of time. I will be able to straight away right now to invite to the podium Mr. Mr. Lungu to come and give the life history, Mr. Mwalimu Mpundulungu, to come and give the life history of the late Mr. Simon Mwansaka Pepe. Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Chilema, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, may I simply say, all oh, protocols of the Allow me to share with you the life history of the late Mr. Simon Kapwepwe on behalf of the Kapwepwe family. It reads, Simon Mwasa Kapwepwe was born on 12 April 1922 to Mulindwa, to Dominic Kapwepwe, and Chileshe, Chimwanganala and he was the youngest in the family of six. His father was employed as a messenger by the colonial government. He was a descendant of Kapasa Wakabulongwa, who came into present day with his half-brother, Chichimuluva, who later became Chichimukulu in the 1970s. Simon Kapwepwe married Salome Chimuchuabesa on 3rd August, 1946. Together they had eight children, four sons and four daughters. Kapwepwe started his formal education at Chiwanda in Yusoka before doing his standard three and four at Mwenzo Mission. He then proceeded to do standard five and six at Lugwa Mission School. As a trained teacher, he began his teaching career at in Sali Primary School in 1945. He 
He then moved to the one mission in 1946. Simon Kapepo also taught at the primary school in Tanzania in 1947. Later, he taught at Musakili Primary School in Kibwe, after which he left the teaching service and worked as a welfare officer from 1948 to 1951. From July 1951 to November 1954, Kapepe pursued studies in journalism and leather technology in India. The differential racial treatment of Africans by the colonialists influenced Kapwepe's nationalist drive, and he became a member of the Hari Mwangangumbula led African National Congress in 1948, and was a member of the National Executive as Secretary of the Kitwe branch. A dedicated Pan-Africanist who was greatly influenced by Kwame Nkrumah, he believed that the real independence would only be achieved when all African countries were liberated. In October 1958, Zank broke away from ANC, but the new party was later banned in 1959. Subsequently, Simon Kapwebwe and Kenneth Karunda were arrested along with eight other party leaders. The men were held in prison across different parts of the country prevent them from reorganizing activities. Kapwepe was jailed in Mongo, in the Barotela. When the Jew was released, they found Mainza Shona and others had formed a new party called the United National Independence Party, UNIP, in 1959. When Simon Kapwepe was released from jail, in December 1959, he was a fluent speaker of Silos, and therefore he helped organize provincial and district branches of UNIP in Barotela. In October 1962, elections were held in northern Rhodesia. The Pope challenged Saudi Yamba and won convincingly. The result of the election was a unique ANC coalition government in which Kapwepo was appointed Minister of African Agriculture. UNIP continued agitating for political independence and general elections were held in 1964. UNIP won with 55 seats as opposed to ANC's 10 seats. Zambia achieved political independence with UNIP in the lead as a political party on 24th October 1964. Kapwepe was then appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs and held the post for three years, delivering Zambia's first speech at the United Nations. He went on to serve in several portfolios, including Home Affairs. In 1967, Simon Kapwepe became the second vice president of the Republic of Zambia and later minister of finance and a combined portfolio. The last cabinet position he held was minister of provincial and local government and culture. In August 1971, Kapwepe's life in UNIP drew to an end with a resignation and the announcement of the formation and his leadership of a new party called United Progressive Party, UPP. In December 1971, he won a by-election for the Mukulira West constituency, even though he had been denied the opportunity to campaign and became his party's sole representative in Parliament. On February 4th, 1972, Kaunda banned UPP and imprisoned 122 members of the party, including Mr. Simon Kapwepo. The transformation of Zambia into a one-party state or second republic was submitted in the Chona Commission report 
which was submitted to Kaunda in October 1972. The second request published, which is the one first date, was inaugurated on 1st January 1973. This was the day after Kapwepo was released from detention. The first turned his back on politics and came to live here in Sintani, where we are today, at his farm. In the spirit of national unity, Kapwepo, Kaunda asked Kapwepo to return to unity in September 1977, which he did. Kapwepo stood for the 1978 unit's one party presidential nomination against Kaunda. He was disqualified by last minute changes to UNIP's constitution. <laughs> he retired for good from politics and returned to this very farm here in Chisar. Kapwepe died on 26 January 1980 at the age of 57 after suffering a stroke. His wife, Salome Chirisa Kapwepe, also was recognized as a freedom fighter in her own right and was honored by the state in 2012 and later died in 2017 at the age of 90. She was afforded a full state funeral and is buried next to her husband. May their souls rest in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Palungo. That was a rich life history of our father, the late Mr. Simon Mwasaka Kwepwe. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me again to call upon the Honorable Henry Skazwe MP, Provincial Minister, to invite His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Haka Inde Richlema, to address the gathering this afternoon. May we be outstanding. Your Excellency, this afternoon, my thanks to the I would like to invite the Your Excellency to come and speak to your people. Thank you. Thank you very much. The children, the children and family of Mr. Simon Mwansaka Pwepe Shimpundu. Abana Nolupwa Wabayashi by Simon Mwansaka Pwepe by Shimpundu. Your Royal Highnesses that may be present here for their representatives. Provincial Minister and your team. Minister Cabinet, Cabinet Ministers that are present here. The Freedom Fighters who may be present here. Senior Government Officials. 
abakaramba bamuteko Sali kanso mpak mea Sali mea bamwena mushi ba mea bamwena muchinsa religious leaders that may be here abakaramba bama 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 chaiti Indeed, the UPND and its partners and all political parties that may be here. Our government could do a lot of work to take the UPND. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what an honor, what an honor for me and for us to have this privilege to be among you today in Chinsari and in particular to have this opportunity, this opportunity to pay my last respect and tribute to the late Mr. Simon Mwasa Kapwepwe, who as we have been told already died in January 1980. <laughs> Papisa Sangua, Pari mentioned the Inosta, or a twice a Mukopela, Umuchin Shi, Kumufiashi, Uyo, Wabusisho, Wuntungwa, putting an Gofavala and Lide, Oish Lefwa, Mujanwa, and Muakawa, nineteen eighty. It is befitting for us to be here today around our fifty seventh independence celebration anniversary of our independence 57 years back. How coincidental for others. But actually not coincident. This is God's way that we are here around the independence celebration. Chini chari nganga nshi, chawa manga nshi, kaputila, inon shita, olotule sefia, olotule sefia, to be on this farm today, to be amongst the Kapwepe family, to be amongst the people of Chinsari, the great people of Chinsari, indeed, only God designs things in this way. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kapwepwe was a great son of this soil, this our soil. The great son of this country, Zambi. A great politician of his time, indeed. A great gallant freedom fighter, a great teacher, and a friend to many, including those that are still living today. Ali Nikanushawa Wutungwa, by Dumpire, Wutkan the Fairchalo, by the Baka Fundisha, Kabiriba Yabombele Minimo, in Kitchen Chin, Kuchin Chalo, Chaz Zambia. Most importantly, to his children, Simon Mansa Kapwepe was a committed, a committed part. Simon Mansa Kapwepe to Mama Salome Kapwepe, a committed husband. He was their caring father and a great pillar of the larger Kapwepe family. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
We cherish the memories of the sacrifices that, as you heard from the grandson who read his life history, Simon Mansaka Puepue made sacrifices that many of us living today are not able to. His wife Salome, along, along with other forefathers and mothers, made our country to be liberated. They worked for all of us, all of us as we sit here and those that are not present here today. Government for the Kachilanda, Munansu, Mushkulu, Bakapoe, a few of Minimo Bakapoe, Pavo, Melapuna Chimachano, which are put in at the Pueblo and Pueblo and Panon, the Diomini Mon, no good to no good mother grew to even the Pamu and Duabuku, the law and a Simon Mansakapoe, Ali, Ubuntu, Uashipa, or Natural Gapa, with the Tutu, Utila, Nava Mayova, Salomon, Salome. This is why, as we celebrate our 57th Independence and Celebration, Adversary and Celebration, we must remember, we must remember the great contributions of the politicians, our leaders like Simon Mansa Kapwepwe, and indeed his peers, who with unmatched dedication and commitment, pursued every opportunity and overcame every obstacle to secure our independence in 1964. Great indeed. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, these individuals relinquished these individuals relinquished their personal considerations and put the country first. We must learn to do the same. We, the generation of today, must learn to do the same. The same as what these great men and women did. Otherwise, we wouldn't be celebrating independence today. We should and we must continue the journey that they left behind, left it to us to continue and write a new chapter for the future generations. So this generation must pick up the button, the relay button, we must pick up the relay button and write the distinguished, probably not the same, but on similar lines to the history of this country. And then pass on the button to those that will come after us. That's the way it should be. Not to go out there in Congo, if I was favored for no. Baba Nakofialwa, Ababa Lisa, Ababa Shire Chalo. Ukutilati, <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we as UPND in government choose to write a particular chapter in this journey, a particular chapter in this journey, and a deliberate one for that matter. 
ifuenga ba UPND ukuteko na nguchilonga na nguchileteka ikitu atemwa ukuchite fintu ufisuma ulono kulemba ifintu ifi ahebe lako nge fifi afumi ukuchila kupali fifi afumi neko na ukumono kutila ati avanti konse ba senda mo ulu wali mufintu ifisuma na ifuenga ba UPND abaleti kana kubata umulimo wakua mifintu when I say the UPND simply as a platform but this chapter, we chose, we choose, we continue to dream about, we want to realize, is to deliver economic and social independence for our people. If we have a UPND, we will 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 have a UPND, we wish to translate the political independence that was simple and his colleagues set on us, delivered for us, translate that, use that platform to transform the economy of our country, to use the resources, look at where we are today. I was saying to Chilufia when we were walking over here, what a beautiful place, what a rich place. But we shouldn't see it just that way. We should translate it into reality, into jobs, into business opportunities for the young people to go to school, for the sick to go to hospital, with decent hospitals, decent healthcare systems, for our own personal freedom, so we can enterprise, so we can work the soil. I'm a love of soil. I'm a love of nature. These resources can be worked in a manner that will deliver value for our people. That is the chapter we wish to write. Ipochotelefuaya, <laughs> We choose this chapter with conviction that we are able to deliver for the people's army. We choose this chapter knowing very well that if we don't fight corruption, money is taken away by a few individuals who will not be able to utilize these resources that we are talking about to create value for all our people. If we are going to be able to do this, we will be able to do this. 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 We will be able to do to walk this road, to write this chapter, we are clear in our minds that we have to drift resources centralized in Lusaka, away from Lusaka, where a small clique of corrupt people have been enjoying for years when the people of Tinsali are suffering. We are moving a substantial amount of money. If we go to the court, we should be. That will require a lot of pump, we have a no, no, we have a car, 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 we have a car,
Year in, year out, Zambian people wait for the national budget. But little did they know that there was nothing for them in the budget of so many years. So we have taken a decision, a deliberate one for that matter, that we will move resources into the constituencies right here in Chisari and elsewhere so that the people of Chisari, like elsewhere in the country, will decide the development priorities, where the water must be, where the clinic must be. And once they've made that decision, they will have the resources to implement the decision they've made. First time since independence, this European is walking that road. So, Development <laughs> And more important, in defining this economic social development chapter, we have taken a deliberate step, a further step, to direct, to guide how these resources will be used. All contracts for building clinics, for building water points, big bohos, solar, all the contracts coming to Chinsari here in this constituency, we desire that the people of Chinsari, the youth of Chinsari, Mr. Pella, we want the people, the women of Chinsari, and other population members of our community to be the one that get these contracts, not the people from Lusaka or from the Copper or We are saying in the past, even to build one teacher's house, the contractor came from Lusaka, came from the Copper Belt, or indeed a foreigner came here and got a contract to build. That way, from my training, as someone who understands economics and finance, if the money doesn't stay in Chinsari here, the people of Chinsari will never benefit. So we want the money to circulate right here. My friends and parents, we want to move in the toilet. Kunu moku, mwale umfa, nangu kuku lafe, akaya ndafeka kwa teacher, contractor alef makuisa, kuru saka. Nangu kopa peoni. Namukuza, <laughs> Mune Mucheleka, I want to emphasize one point. This will not happen only in Shisari. It will happen in Shiwangan. It will happen in Pika. It will happen in Kasama, Malore. It will happen in Tulungu. It will happen in Senga Hill, in Mbala, in Nakonde, in Isoka. The whole country. Just imagine what will be happening across the whole country. There will be activity, there will be employment, there will be money which homes now can access, which was being stolen by a small number of people in Lusaka. I was quite water now. Yeah. 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 Kumpika, Kumanole, 
Nazamba Fayon, Joko, the Avant to be so. But you want to be the Kavat was in the Moluva, Ulubani, not to appreciate the Kavat Muno to Rene, or to Pekin, to all of your country, no one who was Zambia Puntans. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we believe that when we move this road, when we move this road, we will be indeed walking the road, the path that Simon Masaka prepared, the Kaunda, and the Kamangas, the Kumbulas, the Mundias, the Bulawayos, the road that they walked and the desire that they had as they delivered political independence. They expected us to deliver economic and social independence. This is why we are walking this road. This is why we are writing this chapter to better the lives of all our people. Nga tuwa enda mwini inshila. Inshila, oyo waka puepue, waka unda, waharu mwanga nkumbula, wamundia, na wonse haba tuushu shobundu wa, wale kwa yokuwe wa chingaba. So if we, kwa ya, upisa atita ofyo, waka puepue na wanavo, wale kwa yokuwe chino charo chingaba. Kanshi mpai, oka tulino kubomba, uuteko kwezo, uwanyu, don government. I think if we did that, which we will, we will be confident that Simon Mansaka and his colleagues, his wife lying there, Lassalome, will be pleased with us. Thank you everyone for being present here. Thank you to the Kapwebwe family. Thank you to our traditional leaders. Thank you to the people of Tinsari for receiving us well. Absolutely. May the soul of Mr. Simon Mansa Kapwebwe that of his beloved wife, Mama Salome Kapwepe, lying there next to him, rest in eternal peace. God bless you all. God bless Zambia. Mumpashi, Waba, Simon Kapwepe, Nabena Mwabo, Salome, Wengatusha, Wengatusha, Muchibote. There's a pile, I'm pile of one say, there's a pile of the Charucha Zambia, Nakotram Kwai. Sawa umpa wite wakumi Wasu kemti shimutishi Kalo Thank you very much, Your Excellency. We are now ready to go further into our program. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, we do not have a lot of it. I am now going to request that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Force, come and lay the wreath on the grave of our father, Mr. Simon Mwasaka Pwepwe, and our mother, Mama Salome Chirufiade Saka Pwepwe. Your Excellency, I'm calling for you now, sir. May I invite the, the choir to give us 
a short, short, short song as the, the rest are being laid. The KBB can find Let there be order, there is a ceremony that is going on here. His Excellency is laying a rest there. Let us observe and be orderly. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Very solemn indeed. We may take our seats. Thank you very much, choir. United Church of Zambia, choir, Mary choir from the main church. At this point in time, Your Excellency, may I now request that the vote of thanks now be given. To give the vote of thanks, is my dear mother here, Miss Chirufia Akwepo.
Your Excellency, Mr. Hakainich, led by the President of the Republic of Zambia, the Honorable Minister of Mshinga Province, Cabinet Minister, Honorable Members of Parliament, I recognize the President of Siaj, Sandy Nkonde, who is here, the family member, the Mayor of Chinsani, Professor Primary School, and our church, the CZ, the media, and all the friends at the time. On behalf of the Kapepo family, I welcome you, Your Excellency, and thank you most sincerely for taking time from your busy schedule to come and pay homage to this gallant freedom fighter, Simon Masakapuetu. Mr. President, there is an urgent need in this country for right to write true history of our freedom struggle. Each government has come up with their own history of this, the struggle. We want the proper documentation of our proper history, and we have people, the freedom fighters, that were there, who are still here, who have not died, who can give us the true history. If it means going province by province and getting those people to give us proper documentation, we don't want user-friendly people to be awarded because they were supposed to be freedom fighters, because they are user friendly to a certain government. We should not be changing our history with each succeeding government. We want the true history of our country to be recorded, to be documented. That is what we are asking from you, Mr. President. I have here a freedom fighter, Mr. Kabanga, would you just come forward? This is a true freedom fighter who was shot during the Chaka Cup writing. They left him for dead. He had done wounds in his chest. He was taken to Kansama, treated, and jailed for six years. But he will not even take I want a job from the government because I fought for this country. <laughs> that is Mr. Kapanga. Who was jailed, who was shot, and two of his friends died on the spot because they were found destroying government property, which was bridges, schools. And that is where he was shot by the army. These are the genuine freedom fighters. And you, the youth, who do not even take this country seriously, can see what this man did for you. My youth, recently, you were given fertilizer and you were selling it on record from this village. That is not development. That we are going the wrong direction. You have to carry this country forward not by being given jobs by HH. I'm 70, I should be going to HH and say give me a, a, a job. And then the permanent secretary is in the same way as my son, Mwalibu. Well, that is ridiculous. Tulea, kuyo, I said, mshesho mnefuwa ya, tupangeni, mshesho mwaraima, mshesho mwini mshesho mwaraima, amata wa 350 pebag. Soya beans is 500 pebag. Icho mshinga ni da soya beans chishi. Each of them are not going to get any more. If you don't have a lot of stuff, 750 washers can put the five kg back as well as me to a line machine. Fertilizer is going to fail. It is going to rob people who are not supposed to get fertilizer. Now I get this year. But the other guy is the lady. So I'm going to get this year. We're going to get this year. This year, we're going to get this year. We're going to get this year. We're going to in 1959, we were in jail in Mongo.
Rais chambe sio alikuwa tie chambe sio mwalimu rais. Kio zetu. Mtakwata ma industries. The only way you can develop a country is through village industries. Tutambi ya bashi. Elo mwaya kumuku sa dero kujana. Kio zetu. Zambia showing a freedom card who are the people who died for South Africa. Who are the heroes, like I'm saying, we need to document. Where are we going to put these names of freedom fighters? But you have to write to the public to all the people. ulewa <laughs>
Therefore, as we come to the end of this ceremony, and now people will be going back to Osaka flying, we pray for the flying messes upon them. Those who are driving, that Lord give them steadiness of arms and hands, that they will be able to control these machines. We are now praying that Lord, those that will be leaving tomorrow, may the journey and traveling messes be upon each one. May the Lord bless you all and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you, now and forever. This is our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. With our hearts to God, thanks we pray. Amen. We are waiting for the national anthem. I said after prayer, national anthem. Stand at the most of your breath and breathe. And the breath and joy you need to Jesus in the struggle for the right. We won't breathe or fight. On, stop and breathe. Africa is our